Good morning, everybody. Welcome to day seven of Dragon Searcher. I just got to the gym, so I'm gonna make this quick and get in there and knock out a workout. Let's go get this workout done real quick. Proud of you, brother. Good work. Thank you, bro. <laughs> this dude tried killing me. Yeah, today. well, you know, it's, a, it's building, not killing. Building. <laughs> All right, well, that concludes the workout for today. We drove the bagged minivan today. We haven't been driving the minivan too much lately. The van was supposed to be for Jalen to drive around. She likes being higher up in the Tundra, the, my big truck. So she told me that she likes driving the Tundra better if I'm not driving it, because I usually drive my, my Subi. But then that means that really no one's driving the van that much anymore. So I don't know. We might have to figure out what to do with this thing. Um, when they're going around San Diego, I personally love knowing that they're in a big truck and they're safe because that thing is a tank. <laughs> Came here with some silverware, a plate. Got some breakfast, you know, fueling up for the day. We're gonna go see what the spot's looking like. If the waves look good and it's not too crowded, I'm out there. If the waves are not good and it is crowded, I'm not out there. Good surfing with you. Oh. Hi, dude. Hi, sis. Check this car seat out. This thing rotates, so when you get them out, they face you. It's me fast. Yeah, isn't that neat? I have been calling realtors. We've been wanting to move out of state for a while now, and how it might end up being like a real thing. What's your take on moving out of state? How do you feel about it? I'm ready. Let's go tomorrow. What's your take on going out of state? I want to move to have a bigger house with upstairs. When I was a kid, I really wanted a house with stairs too, so I can't get upset with that. For you personally, what excites you about leaving California? More land, bigger house for half of the price we pay here. And we don't even own it. Yeah. We could own a house. How do you feel about maybe moving? Oh, that was pretty aggressive. I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make something Rapunzel themed for my mom's birthday. Ooh, Ready can I mama? see? Ooh, you're gonna make that for mommy's birthday? Can you pick something in there that you would make me for my birthday? I was gonna do that already. Oh, okay. Top notch tips for baking like a princess. What are those? Do you know? It's, it's, it's Raja. Oh, it's Raja? It, it's like Raja themed. Wow. It's, it's, it's Jasmine. Shape, Dude. Can I, make some? I can't wait till ah! next year. Mom is back at it. You'd swear she's cooking food for us right now, but uh, nope. For the dogs. <laughs> Every two days. Chef Jalen. What do we got going on over here? Sailor's Notebook. Sailor's Notebook. I got Atlas, this really cool book set that we were going to give him for Christmas, but I think we're going to give it to him a little bit early. So we got ABCs for future race car drivers. We got colors for future race car drivers. And then we got one, two, three, count with car parts. Atlas, which one do you want to read first? Pick which one. That one? One, two, three, count with car parts. Okay. Okay, move your foot, please. Hey, stop it. Move your foot. A race car has one steering wheel. Imagine if it had two steering wheels. <coughs> two of the same turbos are called twin turbos. <coughs> yeah, did you know that? Three types of gauges are fuel, speed, and RPM. Wow. Ooh, what is that? It's a car. 
She drew a car for Atlas. That's so... Atlas, what are you... What are you doing? <laughs> You're crazy, dude. All right, Sailor just learned a new trick again. You're gonna have to come show us. Her new trick, believe it or not, is the stand-up one-eyed blinker. Oh. Whoa, oh, what trick are you going? <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> that was, oh. Hey! <laughs> Jalen got a little painting kit for us. There it is. Let's do it. Here we go. Master's at work. Do you need water? No, I'm okay right now. Thank you though. Let's see it. She said she's finished. I'm. <gasps> that looks just like the one on the box. Good job, baby. I'm gonna use a snowflake next. Okay. No, 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 no. Gonna give Atlas a bath real quick. <laughs> Stop turning the water on. <laughs> Knock it off. <laughs> Stop! <Hey>. No! <laughs> After we're done giving Atlas a bath, we're gonna go make a family recipe for dessert. Let's go. Okay, let's go. Get your big elephant <laughs> <laughs> We're making one of my favorite desserts, and that is no bakes. Would you rank no bakes as one of your top desserts? What do we got in here? Four cups of sugar. Four cups of sugar. Three heaping tablespoons of cocoa powder. When you turn that on low heat, you're supposed to get rid of all the sugar lumps before this, but it's amateur hour over here. And then after this, we are adding our milk and then our butter. We want it to be like a chocolate sauce. Go ahead, sis. Good job, dude. Good job. Okay, I'm gonna mix that first, and then we're gonna add the butter in and mix it again. And I have the butter in my pocket. Why? So I'm melting it, so it's easier for you to stir it. You guys ever put butter in your pocket before? Starting to look like chocolate sauce. So I'm gonna put all the ingredients down below in the description. Let me know when you're ready for the butter. I'll take it out of my pocket. I'm ready for the butter. Say less. There you go. Thanks. One stick of butter. I'd say I'm baking, but they're called no bakes. So what am I doing? I feel like that name is a lie because you're- Kind of are you, baking. Yeah, huh? you're on the stove, but like a yeah. Rice Krispie treat is still a baked good, isn't it? Can you do that on the stove? Whole childhood has been a lie. They're yes bakes. Pretty sure it's a third cup of peanut butter, but we just do it like that. Big just glob. a big glob of peanut butter. Whoa! Oh, she's doing. Whoa! Oh my gosh, she did it. How did you do that? Master Baker Sailor, do you have anything you want to say to your fans? You cannot let your two year old, your one year old, your one year old, your course not a one year old. How old do you have to be to do this? Four, because I'm five or like six or seven. Just make sure your mom covers the fire part. Okay, sweet. So then you're just stirring all that up together? This is a good consistency. And yeah, you just basically get globs like that. And then after you put them on the plates, you throw them in the freezer. And usually like after an hour, right? They're pretty yeah. good. Depending on how big you make them. All right, this is how you... Get them to go in the freezer without them sticking to the plate. You okay? Yeah. And then you just put them in here. In about an hour, those things will be delicious. All right, everybody. Well, thank you for watching our video today. That is Dragon Searcher number seven today. As always, comment some stuff down below that you'd like to see us try during this month. And we will see you all tomorrow.